right, so here he is, the one, the only, the inimitable Daniel Cormier, high school wrestling coach, former two-time United States Olympian, two-division UFC champion. But that wasn't enough, folks. He wanted to not only be in the video game, but to actually call his own walkout DC. The floor is yours. They say at EA Sports, if it's in the game, it's in the game. I'm in the game, and I'm also in the game as I call my own walk to the octagon. It is a phenomenal thing to watch me walk into the octagon with my shirt tucked in my pants, my pants tucked in my socks. When you're talking about a fashion icon, you're talking about a guy in Daniel Cormier that looks and fights as well as anyone the UFC has ever seen. And those are facts, and if you weren't here, what I would be saying is that most opponents seem to know what's coming, right? Can't stop. Can't stop. We'll, we'll see if the man out of the blue corner can stop it here tonight, but Daniel Cormier is back in a big way, and as you just heard, yes, he's in the game. just over a year on the UFC roster to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watch Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of knee because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gaslam was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. you got to have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. Well, he was perfect as a heavyweight since dropping to the light heavyweight division. He has been equally dominant. We'll see how the two-time U.S. Olympian Daniel Cormier approaches this opponent tonight. Gotta figure you'll see heavy doses of takedowns in the early going tonight. As the wrestler engages in a clinch here, and he does so very early in the fight against the kickboxer. He told us in the fighter, maybe he's not worried about bonus money. He is trying to win, and this is certainly on that path. Ultimately, it's about getting the W. Getting this guy to the clinch allows for you to start working towards winning the fight. One thing you gotta be aware of, though, is those knees and elbows that come back in your direction from this high-level kickboxer. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the tight style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asani. Effective punch from the clinch there by DC. Just over three minutes to go now. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Big right hand. 
Oh, nice takedown defense. Side leg kick by Israel. Oh, and oh. another one. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Well, you know the book on this guy very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lane. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the pin. Go and pick the fruit. Great timing on that double leg. Cormier's eye is starting to swell shut. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Twenty seconds to go in round one, and he is back up to his feet. Oh. Round two next. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, D.C. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. D.C., here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, with that, we now present round two. Israel Adesanya. And that handsome guy on the other side is DC Daniel Cormier. Nice leg kick. Nice block and the follow-up counter with a jab. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Cormier. Changing the position. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Damage coming down. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by DC. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, looks like he's got the submission locked in. He's in real trouble. to go on the round. Hey, Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. One minute.
attempting a choke now. Oh, it's tight. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cormier. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little bit. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Big right hand there. Israel Adesanya's strike attempt there is blocked. Stuff the takedown, no problem. So we call on the fight stats here. These are unofficial, but strong numbers. 46 total strikes have landed thus far for Daniel Cormier. And as for the accuracy rate, DC, 48% tonight against Israel Adesanya. Taken down here by Cormier. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. This is a terrible position. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Israel Adesanya gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a right there his opponent's compromised dc it's one thing to land a hard shot it's another thing completely to land a perfect shot and that was a perfect shot all right he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. yeah it's very impressive to see him oh double leg lands Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Adesanya. 45 seconds remain in the round. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, right into Mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Final seconds. Oh, All right, that's oh, three oh. rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. So there is the horn standing ovation from this capacity crowd. Near knockouts by both fighters. Probably the best round we've seen thus far this year. Oh, man, this is the best round of fighting that I have seen for a very long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go 10 minutes straight. Pride rules. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round. Straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All follow time. Lead kick landed there by Adesanya. Nice shot there by the champ. Single. Cormier's in half guard now. Lands with the ground and pound. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. Man, this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight ending intentions. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. Oh! That'll do it! Oh, my God! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender. All right, so the clean knockout for Israel Adesanya tonight, the last style bender, not forcing the issue as usual, but it is a pretty thing when he puts somebody away. Well, if you press Israel Adesanya, he will put you to sleep. Once again, he proves why he's one of the best fighters in UFC history.